Hello everyone, good afternoon. I hope all of you are in good health in this COVID situation. Welcome to my presentation on thesis proposal. My tentative thesis title is Estimation of Longshore Sediment Transport and Shoreline Evolution along Kuakata Beach by Numerical Modeling. My thesis supervisor is Professor Dr. Mohamed Ataur Rahman, Department of WRE, Buet, and myself, Dipen Shaha, bearing rule number 10151620026. And this is the outline of my presentation. Next couple of minutes, I'll be talking about background of the study, objectives of the study, and then possible outcomes, and uh, then uh, outline of the methodology. And last of all, I'll be discussing about the references. We all know Bangladesh is a mass populated country. About 32% people live in coastal region. Bangladesh has a long coastline, and it is about 710 km. So it is of paramount importance to protect the coastal belt from natural hazard. I have chosen Kuakata for my thesis work because of some reasons. If I mention these reasons, these are, uh, this can be, it is very important tourist place after Cox's Bajar in Bangladesh. Some portion of Kokata Beach is eroding day by day, which is great, which is a great threat for the beach, and some, some portion is accreting as well. My thesis work will be on erosion, aggression analysis, longshore sediment transport, and shoreline changes. And Kokata is a very important place for tourism, hence it plays vital role for national economy. And last of all, this type of study has not been done yet for Kuakata Beach. Kuakata is a very beautiful panoramic sea beach and also known as Shagar Konna. We know that there are 139 polders all over Bangladesh, especially in coastal belt. Kuakata Beach is the setback portion of the Polder 48. Kuakata is under Kolathali Upajala of Pachuakali district, which is 320 km away from the uh, capital Dhaka. Kuakata tourist spot plays a vital role in our national economy, so it is necessary to protect the beach from erosion problem. Hence, extensive study is required to take protection measures for, for saving the beach. I have downloaded this video. I have downloaded this video from Google Earth Engine. From this video, if I play again this video, from this video we can see that uh, west side, in known as Levuchur, and uh, and middle portion is Gangamothi Chur, and the eastern side is Kawachur. We see from this video erosion occurs at western side and accretion occurs at eastern side. In 1960s, polders were constructed in the coastal region to protect the land from tidal, tidal water and saline water intrusion to boost the agriculture facilities and to protect the community from inundation. There are 139 polders all over the Bangladesh. Kuakata is located in the polder 48, which is shown by the red circle. Now the scope of the study. By my, uh, my research work, uh, I have several scopes, uh, so among uh, these scopes, I want to mention some. And these are uh, near shore web type 
hydrodynamics will be simulated by hydrodynamic and web model. Current rows and web rows will be made from the result file of hydrodynamic and web model result. And historical satellite images will be analyzed to understand erosion, accretion, and shifting of coastline. Longshore sediment transport will be calculated. And last of all, coastline or shoreline evolution, evolution will also be seen and validated with specific slight uh, image coastline for a particular year. These are the tracks of major cyclones affected Bangladeshi coast during the period 1960 to 2009. It is seen from the map that 19, 1961 and 1970 cyclone hit the Kuwagata coast and I am talking about this map because cyclone or storm surge has significant impact on beach erosion. Here are some photographs of Kuwagata beach. In the first photo we see the Kuwagata beach under erosion threat. In the second photo, uh, Kuwagata tourist resort under threat of erosion. And there is a human chain to save Kuwagata. And the fourth picture, it shows that the natural beauties of Kuwagata beach. Here are specific objectives of the study. I set four objectives for my studies and first of all uh, I will assess the shoreline change along Kuwagata beach from historical uh, satellite images. I, I downloaded, uh, I have already collected satellite images from 1978 to 2018 and the second objective is to set up, calibrate and validate hydrodynamic and wave model of mic 21 fm uh, and mic 21 sw uh, for the study area and simulate the near shore web tide hydrodynamics and my third ob objective is to set up lead drift model for the study area and simulate the sediment transport and the last of all to set up lead line model and simulate the shoreline changes along the study area Now the expected outcomes of my study. Shoreline shifting assessment and quantifying erosion and aggression area along the Kuwakata beach. And the second possible outcome is assessment of annual littoral drift by lead drift model and simulation of shoreline changes by lead line which will help Coast Management Authority to take necessary protection measures. This is the flowchart of the methodology of my study. First of all, literature review. Literature review is very important prior to conduct a study. I went through some literatures relevant to the current study. And different authors worked on shoreline evolution and sediment transport for the beach in different parts of the world. I want to mention some of them. Uh, Pima Modder Rajab worked on Puducherry Coast, Christian M. Ependeni et al., and uh, Nagan Ngok Thach, Mahmoud Atha Roman, Orun Kumar Jadav, etc. Secondly, <coughs> Secondly, data collection. Good quality of data can provide a good model result. And, and uh, quality of data is the prerequisite or uh, good data is the prerequisite to carry out a good study. I have collected data from authentic sources like IWM, JEPCO and BMD. Bathymetry, water level, discharge, and satellite images are the main data for model and analysis. IWM does have calibrated and validated Veo Bengal model. 
from that model i cut uh, the domain uh, for my study area and then a dedicated hydrodynamic model developed and set up this dedicated hydrodynamic model will be calibrated uh, and validated with measured data a dedicated web model will also be developed and set up and last of all literal drift model will be set up for Kwakata region and annual literal drift will be estimated this is my final product of my study now type and source of data that required for my study open source bathymetry data of bub that is bay of bengal will be collected from jepco historical satellite images from usgs water level data from iwm 1d hydrodynamic result for the year 2012 2015 and 2016 bathymetry and manning's m data from iwm web result file of iwm for the year 2012 to 2013 and wind data of kapupara will be collected from bmd that is Bangladesh meteorological department and uh, last of all data from previous literatures will also be used This is our BUB model and this dedicated model, this is the dedicated model for my study area. We need to provide upstream and downstream boundary to run the model. This is 1D hydrodynamic result file. Here is uh, here is you can see Hilsha River. Uh, Hilsha River time series of discharge is extracted uh, for dedicated 2D model upstream boundary. And uh, this is the web model domain for my study. And uh, and uh, it is also domain of hydronic model. And this is my upstream boundary at Hilsha. And is the, this is the west boundary, which is located on the sea. And this is the east boundary and south boundary. This west, east and south boundary are located uh, in the sea. Then this, uh, uh, these boundaries uh, are uh, will be uh, generated from the global tide model for the year 2012 to 2013. And bed material properties defective values uh, as taken from the previous literature for literal drift model. And uh, I, for calibration and validation of hydrodynamic numeral, I'll uh, use uh, the Fokker Ghat and Kawachor uh, water level and discharge uh, data and, and as well as uh, web, da web data. And cross shore profile is made from the model bathymetry by extraction tool, which is given as input in literal drift model. And result from the web model is used in literal drift model to find sediment budget which will be justified with real, real scenario. And last of all, uh, um, in my study, by leak line I will use leak line model. And by leak line model, shoreline changes will be seen and validated with satellite images shoreline for a particular year. And for simulation and analysis, coastline shifting will be assessed from satellite images using ArcGIS and erosion equation area will be quantified. 
and uh, secondly by hydrodynamic model simulation near shore hydrodynamics like current direction and speed for the uh, different tidal condition will be analyzed and a web model coupled with HD result will be simulated and dominant sediment transport will be identified. By lead drift model, longshore sediment transport will be estimated and analyzed. By lead line model, shoreline changes of Kokata Beach will be observed and verified with satellite image shoreline. So these are the references uh, of my research work or my study. I thank you all for your patient hearing. Now we can discuss uh, about uh, my study. Thank you. If, any, if you have any questions, now you can ask me. I'll try my level best to answer. Thank you. Oh.